Hello! Right, time for some terrible bets on the UFC tonight, UFC Vegas 80. So I'm only doing, uh, I'm Burt Green by the way, I've not seen this before. Burt Green, I like to put terrible bets on the UFC and other sporting events, because it is, it's, it's a lot of fun. Remember, keep the odds long, keep the stakes low, and keep the bets terrible. That is how to gamble if you want to do it for fun, and you don't want to lose the shirt off your back. Uh, anyway treble this week the the main one that i'm looking at the one that i like the odds on uh i've got um carolina kowalkiewicz uh, to win by decision i feel like that's a relatively safe bet i do think she's probably a bit more experienced than bell better uh bill better bit bell beater bell beater bell beater uh, if it stays in kickboxing range bell beater's probably got the advantage but i don't know uh, carolina's she's too much of a veteran she's too much of a veteran she's gonna make it ugly she's gonna get in close i think that she she will do enough to get the win there uh, it'll be a decision though i would have thought Philip Lynn's taking on Ion Kutalabla. Now, Ion Kutalabla is a savage in the first 60 seconds. In the first round, he's a real problem. But after that point, he tends to gas a little bit. You're getting 4.33, so that's like, what, about three and a half in English uh, to one on the win by KO for Philip Lynn's. That's not bad on its own, actually. I've done, I've done a single just on that one because I do quite like those odds. I feel like the odds makers have got that one slightly wrong. Uh, I do, because uh, they've got Philip Lynn's as the underdog. I, I kind of like Philip Lins to win that fight. It, but Ion Kutalabra, he's really good. I love watching him. I, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of his. But he goes all out and then he often leaves himself gassed. And I feel like that's where Philip Lins can take over. Grant Dawson, I feel like he's going to probably have a pretty easy night with Bobby Green, honestly. I like Bobby Green. He's got very good boxing. He's and he's fun to watch, but he's he doesn't offer too many looks. He doesn't offer too many different uh, things. You know what you're getting with Bobby Green. I think Grant Dawson probably takes the easier route here, uh, grapples him and gets the submission, so that's what I've gone for. So you put all those three together and you're getting like 21 to one, roughly. Uh, so I'll put three quid on that because the odds are still quite short. And listen, I reckon that's got a fairly, a semi-decent chance of coming off. Unlike my MMA scratch card, which is absolutely zero chance of actually coming off. I, I get close. I usually, I mean, this is only a tenfold one to be fair, but usually on the fight nights, like there, it's usually a 12 or 13 fold. And I'm usually hitting about eight or nine Eight or nine on average on average week. I sometimes do better, sometimes do worse. Sometimes I do really well. There was one time I was one result out. That was worth six grand as well. Was, oh, devastated. Fuming. Anyway, moves on to this one. This is effectively a scratch card. Only you get to watch people punch each other in the face as, the, uh, as you're scratching it off. And what's more fun than that? Not a lot. I bet. I mean, no, probably a few things. Anyway, I digress. So there, so you've got Montana De La Rosa. I'm going to take her to beat JJ Aldrich. Aldrich is stepping in at short notice. I feel like um, that for that reason, De La Rosa should be able to do enough to get the win there. Uh, Johnny Munoz Jr., I'd like him to take on Kileng. Uh, you've got Kanako Murata uh, to beat Vanessa Demopoulos. 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 Either way. I like Maratha in that one. Uh, you've got Mendoka to beat Mainz. You've got Kowalkiewicz to beat Belbita. I've got Philip Linz to beat Ion Kutalebra. You've got uh, Bill Algio. I've got him to beat Alexander Hernandez. Drew Dober to beat Ricky Glenn. Uh, Pfeiffer to beat uh, Abdul Alazak Al Hassan. Although you're getting really good odds on Al Hassan, who's got a lot of power. Uh, he loves to throw. And you know what? Well, if he connects, he'll put him out. Grant Dawson to beat Bobby Green. And you put those together on one. And it really is terrible. The odds aren't even that long. It's about 75 to 1. Awful bet. Worth a quid. And uh, yeah, it should be a good. Uh, obviously, we had the week off from the fight, so we didn't have any last week. This one should be a good card. There's, there's a couple of decent fights on there, and uh, I do think I do think there's going to be a couple of couple of good scraps. Uh, particularly the Hernandez Bill Algio one. I quite like that one. Uh, Drew Dober and yeah, Piper Piper versus Abdul Al Ab Abdul Al Azak Al Hassan. It's interesting. Either way, good fights. Let me know what you're betting on in the comments. Uh, as always, hit subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Uh, keep all those odds long and those bets. Terrible.